Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and Stamps by Chloe. I just thought I'd hop on and do a really quick video to show you our luxury 6x6 foiled acetate pack. This is perfect for your Christmas cards. You're getting 26 by 6 sheets in here in 10 designs and you've got 10 foiled in silver and 10 foiled in gold. And these are absolutely gorgeous. They look really plain in the packaging and I think you kind of look at them and go, what on earth can I do with these? But when you see them done, they look absolutely fabulous. So this is your acetate pack here. Within that pack, you were getting um, 10 designs. So you get 10 in gold and 10 in silver. You're getting the fabulous ice skates. You're getting the beautiful holly background. You've got the holly wreath in there. You have got the candy um, background in there. We've got beautiful poncettas so you can build your own 3D flowers with these. We've got loads of snowflakes and these snowflakes are so, so pretty. Look at how intricate the foiling is on there. It is absolutely gorgeous. You're getting all of the little sweeties and the candy in there. You were getting a beautiful holly background. Again, you're getting more snowflakes in here and then you're getting all the same but in silver as well and the silver is absolutely beautiful. I love silver and white at Christmas. I just think it looks fabulous. Um, so to give you a little idea of what you can create with these, these are absolutely gorgeous. So this is one of the cards that I've done here and I've used two sheets of the acetate on here. So if you use the snowflakes in the background here, if I just lift that up, you'll be able to see that. And then I've used the flowers going across the center there. And if I bring that in close, you can see how I've glittered the flowers up and um, cut those out and added my sparklicious glitters onto there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that technique in a moment. Then we've got this one here using the candy background and what I've done is I've glittered all of the little candy canes and everything individually and done them in different colours. So again I'm going to show you how to do that technique as well and these coordinate perfectly with our 8x8 and 12x12 Christmas paper pads too. And then this one here, this one was kind of a bit of a happy accident. So this one, my sample pack, when it actually arrived, had um, on the back of one of the sheets, it was rose gold. So I was like, that's a little bit unusual. We'll use that. So what I did is I took a double-sided adhesive sheet and just stuck that on the back. And then you can see how I've popped my glitter just onto the back of there. I've left these loose so you can, I can kind of peel them back to show you. Um, and then you get the glitter shining through the acetate, but it's so, so easy. Literally just pop your double-sided sheet on cover it with your glitter and that is it good to go and then you can just mat and layer it up and i've just wrapped that one like a little parcel okay then so i'm going to show you the fabulous ice skate which is this design here okay so you can see on here you've got those two ice skates and then you've got your let it snow sentiments as well and the whole idea behind this product was we were getting a lot of emails from people saying i absolutely love stamping and i love the techniques and i love the cards that you can create but i'm not that good at stamping and embossing onto heat resistant acetate so we were like okay we can take the designs and we can hot foil them onto the acetate for you so we can do the hard work so this is kind of the start of a, a range of products that we'll be doing which just makes it a little bit easier as well and this is a really nice thick acetate too it's really substantial so if you wanted to make christmas decorations with these and hang them off your christmas tree of course you could do as well okay then so what we're going to do to start with is we're going to flip that over so we're working on the back of the acetate and then i'm going to take my pokey tool and basically it's got like a little protective film on the back and that's just for when it's being hot foiled just to protect it in the machine so we just need to remove that film so what you can do is just at the corner if you just get your pokey tool underneath and then you can just lift and peel that protective film away like so and that can just go in the bin okay so that's just to kind of protect all of your lovely foil and when that design is going through the machines and things so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a little anti-static bag um personally some people would say you can use talc personally i wouldn't the anti-static bag really helps to dry it out and it really does take static away um from the acetate so i would always recommend using one of those over talc okay then so what i'm going to do now is i've got a piece of scrap card and we're going to take our design and we're going to start to work onto this so the glue that i'm using is the art glitter dries clear glue this is the one that i recommend i've used this glue for years and um, it is absolutely fabulous when you use it on your acetate it is going to dry absolutely crystal clear and i'm going to show you that in a moment so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by working on our darkest color so with it on this one it will be the little red berries because we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using five different colours of sparklicious actually. So I'm going to be using Happy Holidays for the red, which is this fabulous red colour. I'm going to use Aurora, which is the beautiful blue. 
I'm going to use Grasshopper, which is the green. And this one is Get Down and Boogie, which is a lovely kind of holographic silver. Okay. And then I'm also going to use a new one. This is that new. I haven't even got it in a pot yet. This one is called Winter Wonderland. And that's like a white. Um, It's kind of got like a, like a pearlescent finish glitter to it but it's really really nice fabulous for the top of the ice skate as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my dries clear glue and basically you buy your glue in the bottle then you can buy this little metal tip separate the metal tip comes with a stainless steel pin which is fabulous for storing your glue and um, because that pin's not going to rust so all you do when you get this home is uh, my my glue's been open quite a while but when you take the you take this lid off here unscrew this and it's got a little seal on the glue you just lift that seal off screw this part back on it also comes with a black cap so you just take that black cap on and your metal tip fits perfectly on the end you don't need to cut the the end of the glue down or anything like that it has been designed to fit as it is if you start cutting the tip down it's it, the metal tip's not going to fit on the end okay then so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my dries clear glue and i'm going to start by just glittering the little holly berries like so and you can see with this glue, you've got all of the pre precision there. So it's really, really easy to kind of glitter this up. So we're going to take our Happy Holidays glitter. We're going to sprinkle that over the top. And then we're just going to tap off the excess. And you can kind of be quite firm with these. Give them a little bit of a flick. So you can see how we've got the berries there. I'm going to pop this back into the pot. So I always just use scrap paper. And again, what you can do is you can give your paper a little dust. With the anti-static bag and that'll help to stop the glitter from sticking to okay so we're going to take our ice skate again and then we're going to start to glitter these little holly leaves like so so we're just going to go in with our dries clear glue and just infill these and these are really nice easy designs to follow as well there's nothing kind of too complicated about these they are really nice and easy okay so that's that one then we're going to take our grasshopper glitter, which is this lovely sparkly green. Let's sprinkle that over. We're going to, this is always the hard bit, picking the acetate up. Then we're going to tap off the excess and you can just see how that green stuck to where I've popped my glue. Okay, so that's going to go back into the pot. So you can see how I'm always working away from the last colour that I did. So the next part that we're going to do is going to be this, um, the, the blue on the boot here. So what I'm going to do is take my glue again and just start to trace round like so. So what I like to do is like do the outline so it gives you like a little bit of a an edge to work to. Like so. And then you can just infill the centre like this. So I kind of just scribble with my glue. I'm not too careful. So you can just see how we fill this in and just make sure you've got all those little gaps all nicely filled in like so and you really can just work around applying this glue infilling it in and there we go so you can see how we've got that section completely covered with the glue so i'm going to take my beautiful aurora glitter now which is this lovely blue I'm going to sprinkle that over, just go at the top there and then I'm going to tap off the excess but when I tap this off I'm going to tap it away from my holly leaves and my berries, so I'm going to tap it that way, okay, so you can see how we've got that lovely blue on the ice skate, so then we're going to take this round, we're going to pop that back into the jar, that's our blue done, the next glitter that we're going to use is this lovely silver, which is Get Down and Boogie, which is a lovely kind of very fine holographic silver. So we're going to take this one and we're going to infill the bottom of the boot here. So I'm going to work up to this line here, like so. I'll move that a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. See how I'm just using my glue and all I'm doing with the glue is kind of just giving it a really gentle squeeze. And then kind of, how would I describe this? Like scratching the glue onto the acetate. So we can just work around like so. Infilling this. 
and then we're going to take our glitter we're going to sprinkle that over the top again just working up to that line if you wanted to if you wanted to be really careful about this you could do one section leave it to dry and then do the other but to be honest i just don't have time for that so i just tend to do it all in one um, so what I then would do is just go down this side here and infill my glitter here and then also along where all of the laces are here. So I'm just going to work around and you can see how I keep moving my acetate as well so I'm not getting my hand in the way. I'm not going to smudge that glue that I've already popped on there because we don't really want to do that. So we can just work round again using the metal tip, infilling this like so. And then we'll grab this back in. We're going to use that silver glitter again. We're just going to start to add that on. If I bring that a little bit closer, you can see how the ice skates are all starting to come together. So I'm going to get rid of this silver glitter now. So that's going to go back into the jar. So that one was get down and boogie. And then I'm going to take my white glitter, which is the brand new Winter Wonderland colour, which I absolutely adore. It's gorgeous. And then what we're going to do is take our glue. And we're just going to start to infill. The top of the ice skate. like so so we're just scratching in with this glue infilling it and then we're going to use a little bit of this glue it would be useful if i had a teaspoon but i haven't so i'm just going to tip it out from the the posh there we go and then you can see how that has infilled absolutely perfectly on my ice skate there okay so this looks fabulous on the back but when we turn this over you can see how all that glue hasn't quite dried when that glue dries, this is the effect that you are going to get. So you're going to get all of that beautiful, luxurious foiling, but you're going to get all of that glitter shining through as well. So then you can mount these up onto your cards and that would then be your finished project. So that's showing you how you can use your different colours onto your acetate. Um, and it's really, really easy to do just by using your R glitter dries, clear glue and of course your sparklicious glitters.